<laughs> You're coming in next, you'll care then. It is coming in. Got a microphone? Yeah, it's she's having to come in slow because it's this water's cool. We have a heater. Apparently it's not working. <laughs> We turned it on yesterday, but it didn't heat it up. You can't tell very quickly. It heats slowly when it does, but it didn't get the job done. The Bible says in Romans 10, 9, and 10, thou shalt, If thou confess the Lord Jesus and believe that the Lord has raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. And it says, For with the heart we believe unto righteousness. So as soon as we believe and God sends in righteousness, we are saved. But it also says to be baptized. Uh, uh, Acts 2.38 said, repent and be baptized for the remission of sins. That, there was a specific situation there when Peter was talking to him, but we do follow in baptism to show what we've done. Many people throughout the world, you can testify that you were saved. It wouldn't matter to them. The moment you get baptized, they know what you're talking about, and they will do evil to you because of it. Now, I have known you for a half a century, more than a half a century. Uh, how, how many years is that? 50 plus, right? I know you to be a Christian all these years, and I know that you were baptized. I think you were baptized when we were kids way back at Evendale. What's up? All I know is that I went through a real battle before I went to Haiti. And just a real period of doubt after all these years. And uh, I had my Sunday school pray for me. And from that point forward, all the feelings and the emotion of God saving me all came over me all over again. And uh, I, he impressed on me to get baptized. And I know I did it when I was 13, but I couldn't shake it. And I was determined not to let the devil talk me out of it. And uh, I don't know if it's for me or if it's for you, but I believe that this is what God wanted me to do. I was going to get baptized in Haiti, but I wanted to share it with my church family. And... Uh, so I'm going to get baptized the Haitian way. And uh, so my daughter Laura is with me, and, and after Dennis pulls me up out of the water, which he says he will, uh, <laughs> Laura's going to put the towel over my face like they do in, the Haitian, in, in Haiti. And uh, they're you know, symbolizing that from this point forward, I'm, I'm trusting in him to take me every step of the way. And uh, so thank you all for your prayers and for your love. And I love you all so much. And God just has given me such a burden and a love for people. And I thank Him. And I know after all these years that life is very short. And I want to live every day for Him and do the most I can. And, uh, and I don't want to ever want to doubt again His mercy and His love for me. And, uh, and it's, it is for real. He's proven itself time and time together to me. And it's a personal relationship that you need to know if you don't know it. So, many of you know, if not all of you that have been Christians for a period of time, that someone might say, well, how could she ever have a doubt after all those years? I'll tell you what, if you've been a Christian very long, you've had a doubt or two along the way. Uh, there's no way around that, because Satan intends to fight every one of us for our soul. Every minute of the way. If you're serious, the devil's after you. So, I'm thankful for this testimony. And right now, Tammy... On your profession of faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and that the God has raised him from the dead and your belief in him as your Lord and Savior, I now baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. At her request, I mean to go right on until the crown is won. I mean to fight the fight of faith till life on earth is run. I'll never more turn back. Defeat I shall not know. God will give me victory as onward I go.